Hello everyone and welcome to Travel the Globe, the channel for travel connoisseurs, explorers, and for those with a knack for adventure. What is the first thing that springs to your mind when you think about Italy? Scrumptious food, stunning scenery, and some of the world's greatest works of art and architecture. However, one thing about Italy that you might not know is that it is home to a number of towns and cities that are just stunning. If you are seeking for an experience that is outside of your comfort zone and Italy is on top of your travel bucket list, you should seriously consider visiting one of these 10 beautiful towns in Italy. Keep watching till the end of the video because our number one pick will surely take your breath away. Let's get started! Urbino comes in at number 10. This charming town is a true jewel, and it should come as no surprise that it is known as the Pearl of the Marquis. With a population of slightly more than 17,000 people, it is one of the major towns in the surrounding area. The medieval character of this area has been preserved, while the old town has been refurbished and meticulously maintained to keep its lovely appearance. Urbino's climate is characterized by an abundance of sunshine during the majority of the year due to its location between a mountain range and Lake Transimeno on one side and the Adriatic Sea on the other. In addition to the ethereal beauty that can be found throughout Urbino, there are also a great many architectural marvels to be observed here. Number 9. Assisi this town is a wonderful destination to visit if you have an appreciation for the past and for charming examples of architecture. Visiting the Basilica of St. Francis should be at the top of your to-do list while you are in Assisi. If for no other reason, the buildings themselves exude an air of antiquity. Frescoes and other works by Giotto and Cimabui are on display for your enjoyment here. Visit the summit of Mount Subasio for breathtaking panoramas of Assisi, or stroll through the city's many beautiful churches and cathedrals, especially when they are illuminated in the evening. Number 8. Rio Maggiore On the Italian Riviera, the town of Rio Maggiore is often regarded as one of the most attractive places to visit. This quaint little hamlet is a veritable paradise for vacationers seeking to take in some breathtaking scenery over the course of a three-day weekend. After you have booked your ticket to Pisa, the drive there will, will only take you around half an hour. You will be enchanted by the narrow lanes lined with cobblestones and the buildings that have hosted a variety of tourists from both the New World and the Old World. Cortona comes in at number 7. Taking a trip to Cortona is like traveling to another era entirely. This quaint village can be found at the base of the breathtaking Sibyllini Mountains and has a history that stretches back to the Etruscan civilization. Just by wandering through its attractive streets, which are filled with mansions from the Middle Ages and markets with fixtures that date back centuries, you may get a sense of the city's rich history. In addition, the cuisine of Cortona makes use of foods that are indigenous to the region, such as pecorino cheese and chestnuts. Consequently, if you're looking for genuine Italian cuisine without having to go far from your current location, restaurants at Cortona can be the one for you. Todi comes in at number 6. Todi is a hilltop town that can be found to the northeast of Rome. Its history can be traced all the way back to the 3rd century BC. Etruscans were the ones who first settled in the area that is now known as Todi, which is why it is also known as the City of the Horse. The Piazza del Popolo is the ideal location from which to begin your exploration of the city because it is surrounded by winding streets that are paved with cobblestone. Despite the fact that the majority of important structures date to the Middle Ages or the Renaissance, there are several art treasures that date back far further. If you wish to find a perfect balance of scenic views, quaint towns, and amazing food scene, time to book your next Italian getaway. While you're there, which authentic Italian cuisine are you dying to try out? Share your Italian cravings in the comments below. If you're liking this video, be sure to hit the like button. This will help support the channel and will boost the video to other travel enthusiasts. And now, back to our list. Number 5. Vernazza 
any traveler who makes their way to northern Italy absolutely must pay Vernazza a visit. It is simple to understand why some think that the lovely fishing village that can be found snuggled on the Italian Riviera between the cities of Genoa and Pisa is one of the most beautiful spots in the world. Not only are you surrounded by stunning views of both the luxurious coastline and the rough mountains at the back, but you may also get wonderful views of what is beneath you. Fishermen casting their nets into the sea. This is possible because the colorful buildings are situated on the cliffs. Number 4. San Gimignano San Gimignano is a stunning hamlet located in Tuscany that is renowned for the towers that dot the landscape. The name of the town, which has been translated as St. Germain's Little Hill, comes from the patron saint of the town. San Gimignano has a history that dates back to the 12th century and, at one time, was a wealthy and powerful town due to many manufacturers that it had. Some of these factories include weaving linen and producing wool. Many people go to the city in order to experience its walled medieval city, which has resulted in tourism becoming an essential component of the city's modern-day economy. Number 3. Cinque Terre the Cinque Terre are a group of five small seaside villages located in the Liguria region of northwest Italy. These villages are connected by winding, hilly footpaths. The stretch of shoreline known as Cinque Terre is one of the most iconic areas of the Italian coastline. It is a network of picturesque seaside hamlets and secluded bays, each of which has its own story to tell and distinctive personality. Villages such as Monterosso al Mare, Cornelia, Fernasa, and Manarola are perched on the terraced hillside slopes with breathtaking views of the azure waters and cliffs that drop off into the sea below. Number 2. Bologna The city of Bologna is Italy's second largest after Rome. You may find it to the northeast of Florence, and it has a population of more than 1 million people. Architectural remnants dating back hundreds of years can be found in several of the city's neighborhoods. If you are interested in seeing what the city center of Bologna looks like, you should go to Piazza Maggiore and look at some of the monuments there. Because there are a lot of little sandwich businesses, this is also a fantastic area to sample paninis because the selection is so good. And for number 1, Postiano. Postiano is a town located on the Amalfi Coast that is well known for the natural beauty that it possesses. At sea level, the village may be found between the Anacapri Peaks and the Paulina Peaks. It stretches for around 7 kilometers in total length. It is possible to walk from one end of the town to the other in under two hours, despite the fact that the town is packed with historical buildings, restaurants, and scenic areas that are ideal for photo shoots. Aside from its delectable food and quaint towns, there is more to Italy than meets the eye. Did we miss anything? Which Italian city do you think should be on this list? Tell us in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications by hitting that bell icon. Looking for more travel ideas? Check out our other videos for more Travel the Globe treats just like this one. Until next time!